Well, last year we have seen great improvements in the fast charging department. I mean, the OnePlus 8 came with a 65 watt brick, but this year Samsung decided to downgrade from 45 watt to 25 watt. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. They are playing safe here. They also did the same thing with the Galaxy Note 20 series, and Samsung did an Apple here with no travel adapter inside the box so you have to buy one like this though the s21 ultra offers the ultimate smartphone experience this is one thing that is bothering me i mean the oneplus 8t is my daily driver now and it's just filled with bugs and all but one thing i have to admit the 65 watt warp charger is just amazing Downgrading to 25 watt will be surely hard for me. In this video, let's compare the battery charging speed of these two smartphones now. It's a shame I don't have another travel adapter for the S21 Plus, so it will be my stopwatch. All set, so let's turn on the power supply and start the stopwatch. The devices here are switched off due to lack of battery and uh, I will turn on the devices after 5 minutes of charging to create a real life scenario and there is a SIM card installed in both smartphones so that you can get a better idea about the charging speed. So I will be back after 5 minutes. Stay tuned. Guys, it's 5 minutes already on the stopwatch and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra managed just 10% battery whereas you are getting 18% battery on the OnePlus 80. Now it's worth mentioning here the OnePlus smartphone is packed with a 4500 mAh lithium polymer battery whereas you are getting a much bigger 5000 mAh lithium polymer battery on the Samsung flagship here. Still OnePlus is charging much faster. Let's turn on the devices and I will be back at the 10 minutes mark on the stopwatch. Guys, it's now 10 minutes on the stopwatch and the S21 Ultra is now at 18% battery juice whereas you are getting 36% battery on the OnePlus 8T which is exactly double of the Samsung device here. If you consider the battery sizes then OnePlus 8T charged 1620 mAh whereas the S21 Ultra charged just 900 mAh. Let's switch off the screens and the next reading will be taken at the 15 minutes mark. So guys, after 15 minutes of charging, the new Samsung flagship managed to charge from 0 to 28% whereas you are getting 50% on the latest OnePlus flagship. So let's say you forgot to charge your device overnight, then in just 15 minutes you can get up to 50% battery juice which is uh, good enough for at least half hour, maybe a full day for a casual user. So once again this slower charging speed doesn't really offer true flagship experience on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So this is something Samsung should be working on. There must be something wrong. Anyway, let's skip to the next reading. It's almost 20 minutes so the S21 Ultra got 38% battery juice which is about 1900 mAh and there you have the OnePlus 80 at 63% battery juice that is uh, considering the battery size is 2835 mAh so uh, it's about 50% faster than the S21 Ultra considering the battery mAh. Though the battery management of the S21 Ultra is excellent, you won't feel confident enough with a 38% battery level when you are going outside. So maybe in 30 minutes, you will get enough battery juice. Let's see. Guys, it's 30 minutes already on the stopwatch and the Galaxy S21 Ultra is now at 57% battery level which will be enough for a day uh, if you are a casual user. So you need minimum 30 minutes if you are going out and your phone has no battery juice. The OnePlus 80 is at 87 
well now 88 percent and maybe now you can unplug the charger for longer battery life and warp charger becomes slower at higher battery level to safeguard the battery so this is what we are getting with a flagship costing you $1,200 over a lakh rupees in India and I think it's not acceptable. There is no wow factor on the new S21 Ultra. They gave us S Pen compatibility but there is already no 20 Ultra very similar to this device. Let's take another reading at 40 minutes mark. Stay tuned guys. Guys, I am back once again and after 40 minutes, uh, the S21 Ultra is at 75% and it's quite noticing that uh, the device is very consistent unlike the warp charger on the OnePlus 8T and uh, I will go with the warp charger any day after coming back from work if the battery is low, I can just charge for let's say 10 minutes and use the device again till bedtime without any issues. So this is one of the very few in fact the biggest shortcoming of this new samsung flagship otherwise it's an amazing device the battery backup is perfect you can get up to two days with a full charge and the user experience is just the best in class that's all for now guys thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content this is shukesh signing off have a great day